Hey, welcome to the first episode of the PC troubleshooting. I'm Richard. Today we have a PC that's sent in by the customer. Apparently this PC has some BSO list. Yeah, it says K mode exception not handled. Right? Um, it varies. The last BSOD, the screen was something like critical system failure. Some background on this PC's um, system specs, right? It has a Core i3 9100F and a H310 motherboard coupled with two sticks of 8GB of RAM, the Kingston RAM, and the next effects RX 584GB, I believe. Right. And a I go GP550 watts of power supply and two hard disks configured to rate zero. Two 320 GB of hard disk configured to rate zero. And this couple this SSD is a Zeno SSD, the Chinese brand. Right, it has a BSOE system PDE misuse right now. Okay, let's just give it one more try and we'll see what other PSO this is going to jump up. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use maybe, right, because this is an F version of the i3, it does not have a integrated graphics. I'm going to use my tester GPU, right, it's a GT710 um, Asus. I'm going to troubleshoot if the GPU one by one, right, we follow the sequence. I'm going to start with what is what can be removed, let's say. Uh, GPU, the RAM, the hard disk, right? You're gonna start removing one by one. In any case that the issue is still not solved, we are going to try with a different CPU. In this case, I have a i5-9400F on hand. Right, I'm gonna swap in the CPU, and if there is still fault, means that the motherboard is uh, having issue. We're gonna start with a sequence. Right, let's now power this off. Gonna start by removing the GPU, but I doubt this is the this is the case here. Some GPUs are notorious, right? You plug them in, they're gonna cause some driver mismatch or driver issue, and they're gonna cause the whole system to fail or hang. That's what we would like to avoid. Let's try with a different GPU first. Okay, I'm gonna put in my GT710. Okay. It's like that, and yeah, it does not require external external power source. Okay, let's put it up. I'm really hoping that this is not a CPU or a motherboard failure, otherwise it would be, you need to swap out the whole, yeah, the backbone there, the CPU or the motherboard, or both in this case. Yeah, let's turn it off. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my own SSD because I do not have the owner's uh, Windows password. Right, this is my my spare SSD. Let's take this out and plug it in. Turn it on. Kernel security check failure. Right, this is the third different BSO list that we have encountered here. Right, I don't think this is a GPU issue. Okay, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna try with a different RAM this time. Let's just power this off. And I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get my RAM. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna try with one stick of 4 GB RAM first. PTE misuse, right? A couple of um, fast few VSODs, like blue, blue screen of the, the Windows one. Likely going to point to CPU failure. What I, what I suspect is a CPU failure, but um, so far, let's recap. We have a limited GPU, we have a limited SSD as I swap in my, um, my own SSD, and we have eliminated. RAM, right? RAM is not an issue here. Okay, let's go for. We are left with either CPU or motherboard. Okay, let's swap with a new CPU. Okay, uh, what I have here is a i5 9400F. Okay, let's swap it out. Yeah, while we are dismantling the CPU, we're gonna see any abnormalities with the socket pins. Okay, up goes the i3. Right. Um, no visible abnormalities with the socket pins. I'm gonna swap in the i5. Let's use back the 4GB memory sticks. This will eliminate any variation in our troubleshooting steps. Okay, i5 is in, 4GB is RAM in, GPU is in, and my own SSD. Let's put it up. Okay, single beeps in case everything is good. F6 for SROC. Let's go over the um, piece of specs. All right, you got a H310CM HDV, yes, rock for the 8th and 9th gen LGA1151, the Coffee Lake, Coffee Lake generation of CPU. Okay, we got 4 GB of RAM configured to 2133 2, 2, megahertz speed. Everything looks fine. I would like to keep it stock, right? Just to avoid misconfiguring anything else. Okay, this is weird. Uh, I need to set the hard drive power to the SSD. That's the first boot option. Disable fast boot. CSM. Legacy only. And save. Okay, it's going to have some sort of like a troubleshooting step. It's expected here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and restart my PC here. Really hoping there's no DSOD this time. We are going to wait for the driver to kick in. Internet is connected. No BSOD so far. What I would like to do next is do some stress tests on this machine. City bench. Oh, he has it. Okay. Great. And we're gonna fire up hardware monitor and see if there is any abnormalities in the temperature okay this is gonna take a while the cpu clocks does not necessarily the max boost right does not necessarily translate into 100 percent cpu utilization does not mean that your cpu needs to turbo boost up to this maximum rate right gigahertz right so in this case it's only turboing up to 3.9 gigahertz with the 100 percent utilization that's completed okay last few blocks 
price. Nothing abnormality. As you can see, the max temperature is around 78 degrees Celsius. Right, nothing abnormal here. And no BSO this. Okay, I guess this is good. Right, let's wrap up this one. So this PC, I would summer. I would say that it has. Okay, before that, let's put back everything just to make sure that it is good before we confirm that this CPU is all well and uh, ready to go. Let's use back his graphic card and um, and his SSD. Yeah, for those whose question if the stock cooler is sufficient enough right um i'll say yes right because the city bench run just now with the stock cooler the maximum temperature was only 76 degrees celsius right but if you could afford a tower cooler i say high cooler master hyper 212 without the turbo right like the one i'm having here um, it's going to keep the temperature well below 60 right that's the that's the another option that you can consider um, yeah I don't have the customer's um, password okay let's wait for a moment if it would be a SOD it would do it right anytime now let's just leave it for a while meanwhile while we're waiting um, this is a guide for anyone who is troubleshooting a PC, right? You need to understand the PC's boot sequence, right? This is the the basic to every PCs, right? Um, so when you the moment you press on, you turn on, you press your power button, right? There are five things that it's gonna initialize, right? Because uh, it's gonna initialize your CPU. It's gonna detect if your CPU is there your RAM, your memory, and your IOs. Right? What are your IOs? Your keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor, your display. Right? Um, that is why if your mouse or your keyboard is not connected, the next step, the next screen that is going to show the BIOS, the motherboard BIOS, right? in this case is uh, whatever it is, what, what, whatever brand is it, Asus, SRAW, Gigabyte, right? It's going to show a prompt saying that there are no mouse or keyboard being displayed. So, keyboard and mouse is initialized in the step before the BIOS page. And sometimes you might even see it's going to initialize the graphics, uh, especially with the NVIDIA older, older generation of um, graphics card. It's going to initialize the graphics card's BIOS first then only you will see the motherboards uh, BIOS right so hope that clears us up right um, so that's why it relates correlates to the advice in whatever forums that you're joining you know whatever videos that you have seen before they always recommend that you swap out the RAM whatever that can be removed the RAM the core components CPU RAM graphics card right these are the one that you can play around with if your PC is not booting up correctly. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, this video, this PC has a CPU failure, right? In this case, it's the i3-9100F. Okay, I'm gonna claim the warranty. It's still under warranty for three years. Nothing has been mishandled here. It's a purely false, faulty. Thank you everyone for watching this session. If you like this video, Please uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification for any new upcoming videos if you like it. Thank you for watching. Let's uh, meet you in the next video.